The Prince of Wales sends a video message ahead of the FIFA Women's World Cup final match in Sydney, Australia. The King of Malaysia receives letters of credence in Kuala Lumpur. And Crown Princess Metamarit of Norway celebrates her 50th birthday. All this and much more coming up next on your Royal Daily News. Good afternoon, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Alexandra, and this is your Royal Daily News for August 19th, 2023. In Oslo, Her Royal Highness, Crown Princess Mette Marit of Norway, is celebrating her 50th birthday. Born Mette Chesum Hoiby to Sven Olaf Hoiby and Marit Chesum Hoiby on August 19, 1973 in Kristiansand. After graduating high school, the future Crown Princess spent her gap year in Australia before enrolling at Agder University College. In 1997, she and her then-boyfriend, Mr. Martin Borg, welcomed the birth of their first child, Marius Hoiby. The relationship didn't last. Two years later, Mette Marit was a single mother, struggling to make ends meet when she met His Royal Highness Crown Prince Haakon of Norway through a mutual friend, Mr. Morten Andreasen, during the 1999 Court Music Festival in Kristiansand. Instant Attraction they soon began to date, and one year later, the crown prince proposed. On August 25, 2001, the couple were married at the Oslo Cathedral. According to the Norwegian Royal Court, from 2000 to 2002, the crown princess, quote, studied ethics at the Faculty of Social Science and Faculty of Humanities at the University of Oslo. In 2003, the Crown Princess followed courses at the School of Oriental and African Studies at the University of London. In 2012, the Crown Princess received her Master of Management from the BI Norwegian School of Management in Oslo. End quote. On January 21, 2004, the Crown Prince couple welcomed their first child, Her Royal Highness Princess Ingrid Alexandra of Norway. On December 3, 2005, the Crown Prince couple welcomed their second child, His Highness Prince Sver Magnus of Norway. Today, the Crown Princess is a patron of 19 organizations, including the Norwegian Red Cross and the Norwegian Library Association. On Friday, August 25th, the Crown Prince couple will host a backyard party at Skaugum on the occasion of their 50th birthdays. According to the Norwegian Royal Court, Guests will include individuals and organizations from across Norway, quote, whom the Crown Prince couple want to gather to use the opportunity to celebrate the Norway we have together that helped to create over these 50 years, end quote. Meanwhile, the Norwegian television network, NRK, released their 27-minute interview today with the Crown Princess on the occasion of her 50th birthday. If you're interested in watching the interview, in the description box below, I will leave a direct link to NRK. And also, there are English subtitles. Their Majesties, King Carl Gustav and Queen Sylvia of Sweden, welcome the President of Ukraine, Volodymyr Zelensky, and First Lady Olena Zelenska at Steenhammer Slatet this afternoon. According to the Swedish Royal Court, during the meeting, His Majesty the King received, quote, in-depth information about the situation in Ukraine, directly from the President, end quote. His Majesty the King expressed his support for the people of Ukraine. Meanwhile, the Queen and the First Lady held a meeting whereupon discussions focused on, quote, children's rights issues with a particular focus on the situation of Ukraine's children, end quote. In Kuala Lumpur, His Majesty, the King of Malaysia, received letters of credence from newly appointed ambassadors to Malaysia at the National Palace. The newly appointed ambassadors are from the Kingdom of Thailand, the Socialist Republic of Vietnam, the Kingdom of Cambodia, the Republic of Algeria, the Republic of Zambia, the Kyrgyz Republic, the United Kingdom, the Republic of Poland, the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, the Republic of Armenia, the Hellenic Republic, the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg, the Republic of Lithuania, the Republic of Suriname, and Slovenia.
And finally, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, and Her Royal Highness, Princess Charlotte of Wales, took to social media to send their message of support to the Lionesses. Tomorrow, the Lionesses will go head-to-head with the Selección Española de Fútbol Femenina during the FIFA Women's World Cup final match in Sydney, Australia. In their message, the prince said, quote, Lionesses, I want to send you a huge good luck for tomorrow, and we are so sorry we cannot be there in person, but we are so proud of everything you have achieved and the millions you have inspired here and around the world. So go out there tomorrow and really enjoy yourselves. Good luck, lionesses, end quote. As for me, well, it's kind of obvious. Vamos, España. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for joining me this afternoon. I will be back tomorrow on Sunday, August 20th, with all the latest world news. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful afternoon and a great day tomorrow. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss a thing. Okay, have a wonderful afternoon, everyone, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.